Hi, I'm Jacob. I'm uh, the creator of the color guitars and today I want to talk a little bit about bracing and about uh, the physics behind it and uh, what I do for bracing and uh, what, I, uh, what I've been uh, researching uh, couple of, last couple of days and uh, yeah, my thoughts about bracing and how I approach it. So, the, um, so first uh, I want to talk about um, uh, what a bracing is and uh, if you've never seen one um, it kind of looks like kind of looks like this on a um, steel string guitar so this is like the new bracing I've been working on and it's called the X bracing and on uh, on nylon uh, stringed instruments, you would have like a couple of bridges that that are called fan bracing, like five braces placed like this, and these are basically um, the main braces uh, used for guitars. So this one for steel string and the fan bracing for nylon strings nylon string instrument and I come back to that later um, the difference between those and uh, like the most important thing you have to know about bracing is that um, that the, the main problem of a guitar is that uh, it's it's quite quite an uh, uh, inefficient instrument, um, and it's 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 compared to, uh, to a violin. It's it's not very loud, and you have a very limited energy. So when you plug a string, it um, it's only only um, you put only the energy once into the string, and you in a violin you have like this constant stream of energy you put into the string, and therefore you got you can work with, with uh, a lot of a lot more uh, energy and uh, yeah that's that's like the basic uh, problem of the guitar and uh, so uh, we have to work with like very little energy and produce hopefully a lot of sound with it and that's why um, the bracing is so important on the guitar so um, we do this bracing to um, increase the stiffness of the of the top plate. So the, the top is very thin. It's like uh, two millimeters thick, and it wouldn't uh, uh, wouldn't be uh, stable enough to to withstand um, the pull of the strings. So if you look at this guitar, you have like this nylon string guitar instrument, and um, the strings are pulling like this on, on the bridge and it makes the bridge um, want to go down and the, the top want to sink in here and it puts a lot of pressure in here so you have to kind of make these braces uh, underneath to uh, stiffen it up and the difference between nylon and steel string guitars like the main difference is um, steel string steel strings are much heavier and they have like a twice as hard uh, pull on the top and therefore you have to make the top much stiffer than a uh, nylon guitar and yeah that's why you have the X on uh, on a steel string because like the X it's it's an uh, interlocked system that connects the whole whole top and like the main pressure is on this point here and the X is very uh, efficient by uh, making making the whole top uh, quite stiff. And um, on a uh, nylon uh, guitar, you have like only the, the, these fan braces. And if you have a little drawing, if you compare these. Hopefully you can see. So uh, there you got like the X bracing, and it's uh, quite uh, stiff, and you have the energy here. And you see, like it's it's quite 
uh, quite a rigid construction and uh, you have like the fan brace here and it's it's it makes it uh, much uh, yeah much less less stiff um, let me show you something so basically uh, what a nylon string looks like so you have like these braces in this direction and so it's it's yeah it allows it to move and to vibrate and um, you can't do that on a stiff string instrument because it's uh, yeah it would be would be too loose and uh, would would uh, would break and deform over time so um, that's why you got like the the big axe and um, yeah so the big concern here is uh, that you want to make the top move but you don't want to make it move so it's a little bit contradicting here so um, it's, like, it's like a thin line between uh, making the top loose enough so it can vibrate and not making it uh, too loose so it, uh, it's not collapsing and like one way to, to make, make the top more uh, responsive and uh, more more likely to, to move is to remove remove mass so the lighter the top the better so um, the, the, the less um, mass you have to to kind of get started and um, make make vibrate the better so um, that's uh, that's where the, the bracing uh, kind of um, comes in and I want to talk to you about um, the cube roll. So, let me show you. Um, one second. Not very well prepared for this. So, uh, to explain the cube rule, um, no worries, I'm not going to write any uh, any equations here, but uh, simple. Simply put, I got like a flat piece of spruce and I can pretty easily bend it like this when it's flat but when I put it upright I, I, can't, I can't bend it. It's, it's, it's so much more stiffer, it's like 10 times stiffer than this way and it's like the same mass, the same material so uh, you just need to put it upright and uh, yeah, it's much much stiffer. And the reason for this is uh, drawing so you got a, you got a brace right here and if you put like some weight on it um, the the line here like the, the, the bottom half is stretching and uh, the top uh, top side is compressed and the middle line stays the same so the, the mi middle the more the closer you get to the middle um, the less uh, the, the material gets stretched or, or uh, compressed together. So uh, what it means is that, like, the closer you you get to the middle, the less important the mass becomes, and that's like the basic idea uh, what I've been working on. And it's it's like an you you know it from from construction. It's like an I beam. So you have like from the side view, you have something like this. And uh, this one gets compressed, and this one gets stretched, and the middle is just to to keep the two two uh, pieces um, apart from each other, so um, that you have like the height of of the brace, so it's not flat, so it's it's higher. And um, the further these uh, these are apart, the stiffer it gets. So. Uh, that's like the basic basic idea of the cube rule, and I want to show you a little experiment I did. And let me get the camera. Okay, so here I have a little application to test um, stiffness of a material. So what you could do, you can. Uh, Take a brace 
and like put it in and then put some weight on it and you see how much it's 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 bending and to show you the effects of the different um, types of braces or to, to, to show you exactly how much uh, the cube rule is affecting the stiffness I've got like two uh, braces that are for, um, made out of acrylic glass so it's very uh, uh, homogeneous material so it's not like any grain directions or anything doesn't matter which way you put it so uh, I got like this piece and it's like 10 by 10 millimeters and this is uh, 10 by 12 millimeters so you see like the, the one above is only like a tiny bit taller so um, when I put it in here and I put on the weight it's bending quite a bit like I can read here it's it's like 22 millimeters that it's bending and I can flip it around and it's still bending like 22, 23 millimeters and if I now put the, uh, the one brace that, that's like a little bit taller like it's only two millimeters so like 20 percent and the deflection is 11 millimeters so basically half half the deflection than uh, this piece and it's only two millimeters so 20 percent higher so in base basic idea or, or the basic rule is uh, 20 percent uh, higher it makes like double the stiffness and that's quite a lot so uh, so uh, the idea is to make the, the braces uh, tall and uh, thin and um, I want to show you uh, what normally braces look like. Normally they are shaped like this, like a, like a triangle. So you, you start start with this and then you shape, shape it off with a chisel and it's like a triangle. And uh, this, these are like the same same measurements, like same same height, um, like, like this, the stronger one. like. It's the same height and the same width, but it's shaped off like this, like what uh, normally people do on their guitars. And let me try to put some weight on there. And if I put the weight, you see it's like deflecting 22 millimeters. You can't read it, but you, you see how much it's deflecting. So it's it's uh, 22 millimeters so it's um, it's half the stiffness of uh, of the square one so uh, you lose lose quite quite a lot of stiffness if you do this and uh, so expand uh, like the cube rule I made a little I beam so um, let's test how stiff the I beam is it's like the same um, same height and width as like the solid material. This was this uh, was uh, deflecting like uh, 11 millimeters. And let's see how this goes. Yeah, it's like 14. So. 14 millimeters, so uh, this is like 22 and this is 14 and if we weight it just a second. so let's wait okay so this one was the spare one and it's 44 point, yeah, 44 
um, grams and the pyramid one is 31.7 and the I-beam is 26.7 so the I-beam compared to the uh, square one from 44 to 26 it's like almost half half the uh, weight and it's 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 quite a lot uh, yeah it's a little bit like six grams lighter than the, the uh, pyramid like the <laughs> triangle one and yeah it's only like deflecting uh, three millimeters uh, more than the a square one so uh, yeah that's uh, quite uh, quite amazing I think and let me show you what I've been testing so these are um, pieces of spruce I've uh, tested and what I've did is I kind of made, made eye beams and measured the deflection so the first number is uh, how much it weights so this one is 21.2 grams and the deflection is about 5 to 5.5 5 millimeters and this one is a little bit heavier so the deflection is a little less and I leave in, in the middle I leave a little bit material so I later can join them and make the x brace but it really doesn't add much uh, stiffness so you can see this one it got uh, 21.6 grams and the deflection is about 4.5 to 5.5 it's kind of uh, hard to tell sometimes um, but like it's 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 about the same stiffness as, as these two and it's even a little bit lighter and like some other experiments I did was uh, with uh, balsa wood so this is uh, like the light one, light uh, piece in the middle it's, it's balsa wood and it's, uh, it's very light like it's, it's almost like air and then I put uh, spruce on uh, the top and the bottom and that's like taking all the load so uh, this was 16.3 uh, grams, so super light, and uh, the deflection was um, 6.5, so a little bit more deflection. But it's 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 hard to tell. Like the, the wood is always a little bit different, and uh, yeah, but it's it's also basically uh, the, the the same uh, the same amount of stiffness than uh, like the I beams, and then I made like a little bit basically the, the same thing but I tapered it out up to the end so to the end it's a little bit thinner and it gets a little bit lighter but the stiffness stays the same so that's another thing the more you get to the uh, to the um, outside the less uh, it matters how, how uh, tall it is so the most uh, the most mass and uh, stiffness you want to have is like here and here and the more it gets like to the outside uh, to, the, to the middle or to the, the ends the less it matters and yeah then I made like an, another test this is um, like some, some uh, balsa wood and uh, spruce but um, put like in this way and uh, it's quite heavy, like it's almost as heavy as these, but the stiffness isn't comparable, so it's it's much much less stiff, and uh, that's because they are put like in this direction, so it's basically uh, so it's basically like this, and uh, you see it's very loose, so uh, you have to have like the, the center 
um, the, the separating part like connected like this and then I made um, like this piece and it's tapered like a normal normal uh, guitar brace and you see this the weight is 6.6 .6 grams and the deflection is like almost 10 uh, so it's it's way less stiff than than like uh, the I beams. Yeah, and that's basically what I what I'm doing uh, to uh, brace the top that I'm going to show you again. So so that's the top I've braced with uh, the I beams, and I um, first to make the I beams and uh, glue them on. And so you can see I removed the mass from the middle and on the top I left it and I made it with like all the braces except this one and it's, it's, it's so small it doesn't really matter if I it's like half a gram and then uh, one, one good thing about the this bracing is, uh, or another good thing, is that you can uh, can very easy, easily uh, tune it because uh, the most stress is gonna uh, is, is like the, the top top part of the braces is taking all the stress. So in the middle part you don't have to bother. It basically does nothing, and um, if you move it at the top it's changing a lot so by removing it just a little bit here I get like a scallop bracing so uh, it's, it's, it's quite uh, quite sensitive to, to, to tune the top and yeah that's what I also did, did here that's like a scallop in here and a scallop here and what it does it's making the top uh, more, more uh, likely to move. So, for example, you have like this. This it's, it's not connected here, and it makes it able to 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 kind of fold here. And also here, it's not connected, and this is not not connected. It's close, but it's not connected, and it, it makes like the top move move uh, and vibrate. And the uh, Scalloping does basically the same, but to a um, uh, lower lower degree. So it's also um, the idea is to, to still have like the X brace and uh, uh, connect the whole brace, uh, uh, the whole uh, top, but uh, still uh, make it able to move. And um, it's it's important for like the the base response because for the base response you want the the whole top to move like like as a whole. And yeah, that's basically the uh, bracing I tried out. And like another thing I did, normally uh, people do like a little piece. Most don't, don't put anything on there. Um, if you if you kind of join two pieces of wood, then you have like a gap on the top. And um, most people just put put like a little bit little piece of spruce like over there to to make it stiffer because this point is uh, is like the center of the guitar and it's uh, like all the energy is is put on here so you want to make this this thing super rigid and I figured why not make like a patch like this so I put like a piece of the top and um, Laminated together, so it's it's like this direction and this two on top, and then kind of shaped it like this, so it makes it, yeah, it, it really connects the, the X brace and makes it um, super uh, stiff in the center. And yeah, I don't know if you like the microphone isn't very uh, optimal for this. But if I tap on it, and uh, I know how tap, tap tones normally sound, and uh, yeah, 
it sounds like super loud and super responsive and a lot of different uh, tonalities like I have a flat, super deep deep sound down here and if I, well, I can't see. if I tap it here that's like the treble side it should be much much brighter because uh, the uh, braces are much much uh, smaller and it's much closer together and on the bass side you have like much more um, much looser construction and much more opened up so uh, you get like the bass response and yeah that's basically the bracing that I've been working on and I'm gonna put it in a guitar and then you're gonna hear what it sounds like so that's basically it and if you liked it and uh, if you want to see uh, more of these, um, I'm uh, planning on making some videos about uh, the um, sound holes, uh, why I don't have uh, like the center sound hole and what the sound holes does or do, and uh, all kinds of different uh, topics on uh, guitar construction and uh, other fun stuff. So uh, stay tuned and uh, see you next time.